Okay, we're talking about the difference between Japanese and American wrestling. The difference between Japanese wrestling and American professional wrestling is the difference between night and day. Um, the Japanese uh, took the sport more serious, uh, less gimmicks. Um, guys here in the United States kind of, um, and that's what I didn't like about it either here in the United States, was the guys didn't take it serious. They wanted a party. That's, they thought more about that than they did the actual the job. Um, not all the guys, but a lot of guys. Um, uh, you got to be a better athlete in Japan. Yeah. I'm sorry to say that, but it's the truth. Yeah. Uh, you got to fight for your life over in Japan. Um, I was, no. I've been over there on 19 different tours, and I'm going to tell you right now, every one of them were, were, oh, they were hard. Now, I've never wrestled in Japan. I've heard a lot about it. Now, Japan... Uh, would would they have a um? How would they how would they work it? Because they had like work shoots and stuff. How do they? How does it differ? Let me tell you right now. It was a work on your feet. It was a shoot on the mat. That's all I can say. Yeah. The guys over in Japan they knew pressure points. Yeah. And they would go after you. Yeah. And they would try to hurt you got to watch yourself on takedowns and all that because they try to kick your knees out. They try to blow your knees out. I knew a couple of guys that that happened to. Yeah. Um, uh, they yeah they would work somewhat with you, but let me tell you, they were always trying to get you off guard. And if they saw an opening, they're not gonna take care of you. They, yeah. They gonna they gonna shoot on. They you. weren't about protecting you. No, they weren't. They didn't yeah. care about protecting you. They cared about their image over in front of their people. Yeah, that's what they cared about. Yeah, and but I will say this: the Japanese fans are the best. They're not bloodthirsty. They understand the sport. I wish the United States uh, people over here did that. Um, they would study our moves. You could hear a pin drop sometime over there. Yeah, um, I mean it'd be a big main event match, and you could hear a pin drop. Um, but then there'd be times where you go outside the ring, and they would go crazy. But. They they understood the game more. They they didn't they didn't want the uh, flamboyant gimmick stuff or the blood and all that. If it happened, okay. But they were more into the. They would study the actual hooks. They knew. Yeah. They knew what you if you like my big thing over there was a belly to belly suplex and yep. then I'd get a SDF step over step toe toe face cross like, face yep, reverse yep. cross face was my match. Yep. That was how I won a lot of my matches. And they knew when I when I suplex the guy. Or double arm suplex the guy, and then I'd shoot in and take the guy in. They knew what was coming, and they yeah. were ooh, you know, the crowd would rise, yeah. you know, and um, they would clap. If I beat their guy, they didn't care. If I gave a good fight, they would clap for you. Now, yeah. if you go out there and puss out mm -hmm. and, and, and cover up and all that, mm -hmm. they wouldn't show you no respect. Yeah, they were hard on you like that. Yeah, so that's why you had to go out there and fight your ass off and really prove yourself to these people because let me tell you something they can see right through people they can see right through you can you tell me a stories about like uh, any guys that American wrestlers that went over there that they kind of saw through as, as not being good wrestlers you know not to call anybody out but uh, you know any examples um well we had a guy that was on the Olympic trial team I'm not going to mention no names nice guy um not a real big guy probably 220s something like that yeah um he was, he was supposed to be, oh, they built him up. Yep. You know, he was on the Olympic trial team. I worked out with the guy on the mat. The guy, the guy on, the, on, the, on the mat was pretty good, but he didn't have it here. Yeah. And they can pick that out. you got to have it here. Yep. I mean, if you get your, uh, you know, because they were, they were good for using the open hand slap. They would use the heel of their hand yeah. and hit you, hit you up under the cheek. Yep. They'd cut your cheek. They, they'd hit you in the nose, bust your nose by them. They yep. were good for that. And this guy didn't like it. He didn't like to get hit in the face. So he would cover up, you know. And they, they would laugh at him. Yeah. You know, not taking nothing away from the guy because the guy was a good wrestler. Good, how about some guys that maybe weren't good wrestlers that went over there? With, did they go over there and then never Well, come let me back? tell you something. If a guy went over there that wasn't a good wrestler, they ate their ass up. Yeah. Yeah. The young boys. What what would end up happening? See, we would, we'd be over there. I was over there. The longest time I was there was for four weeks. Yeah. And in those four weeks, I only had three days off. So we were wrestling every night. Yeah. And when I'm talking about wrestling, I ain't talking about 15-minute matches. I'm talking about 20 to 45-minute matches. I yeah. mean, we worked our ass off. And um, and we traveled in a, in a, a, a bus. 
Yeah. So it wasn't the most comfortable thing, and um, you know, it, it, we would uh, we would we wrestle hard, um, but if 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 you didn't give a hundred and ten percent, yeah, they knew it. They could tell, and if you were scared, they could tell. And I see a lot of American guys that were big names over here wouldn't go to Japan because yeah. of that reason. They yeah. were big stars over here. They didn't want to put. They, but they couldn't to hack or get stretched yeah. over there. Yeah. And see, what Lou saw in me was I fit their pattern perfect. You know. Yeah. I wasn't doing the gimmick stuff over here, so he wanted me to go over there, and I wrestled. He knew I had heart. And sure, did I get my ass kicked? Sure, I got my ass kicked. Did I win a lot? Sure, I won a lot. Who was your toughest opponent over there? I would have to say Takata. That would be good Takata. Yep, I'd have to say Fujiwara. Oh, yeah, Fujiwara. Was Fujiwara nasty. was, um, I mean, I was a lot younger than him, and I wrestled him about three or four, uh, about four times. I don't know, maybe six times. Anyway, um, oh, the guy was, he was awesome. And I'm going to tell you about another guy, um, Ricky Choshu, who's an uh, ex sumo, I believe. Um, tough guy. I had a picture of me wrestling him on the front of Tokyo Sports one time over there. He knocked my hip out of socket. Okay. Um, and uh, there was an old wrestler named Ron Starr that was over there with us. Popped it back in for me in the locker room. That hurt worse than Damn. actual injury. But anyway, I had to wrestle the rest of the tour. I couldn't even really walk. They didn't want to hear that shit. They offered me nope. acupuncture. Yeah. That was it. They I didn't go in and wrestle. Going. I didn't go in and wrestle. Well, they knew I was hurt. But hey, that was part of the game and um, I wouldn't trade for nothing. But um, I wrestled Antonio Inoki. Uh, he was tough. Um, was Antonio Inoki, uh, uh, how was he uh, on the mat? Was he a good grappler on the mat? Um, I, I, I will tell you this. As soon as I tied up with him, I fired him and carried him. Yeah, yeah. So I was shocked at that, yeah. that I even got him in. The reason I ask is because, um, you know, not to call out any anybody, but uh, G- Gene LaBelle um, didn't say anything bad about him when, when we talked about him, but he, did, he didn't think. Seem to think that he was a great. No, uh, no, he, he, um, he was trained by um, Carl Gotch, but no, he wasn't. He wasn't in Fujiwara's class. Fujiwara, yeah, Fujiwara was outstanding. I like a lot of his series. He was not um, in Fujiwara's yeah. class as far as technical. Yeah, Fujiwara he had was more a great drawing tactician. power though. He had more drawing power because he had more color. Fujiwara is a lot like Paulson. He can rotate from submission to submission hold to submission yeah. hold. Uh, Ricky Chosha was a good wrestler. Yeah. A big guy. Yeah. Did you ever wrestle Funaki? No, never wrestled him. Actually, yeah. he was in, when I was over there for New Japan, he was in Germany. Yeah. Um, I, I knew Saga, uh, uh, Suzuki. Suzuki yeah, was just Suzuki, a, yeah. Suzuki was just a young boy when I was over there. Yeah. Did you Actually, wrestle him? Actually, he used to carry our luggage. No. Did he? He wasn't even wrestling. Oh, he hadn't just gotten to it yet. He was, uh, Oh. He was carrying out his luggage. He was a young boy, is what they call him. I'm going to have to stop the tape, but we're going to talk about Ken Shamrock next and then, and then talk about Luthez.